Joined by Steve King after Dartford 2, Southend United 2. Steve, what's your summary of the game? Um, some really good moments, some not so good moments, um, but majority of it was pleased. Um, should have killed the game off when we were 2 1 up. George Porter's had a chance, he should score, make it 3 1. Luke Allen's had a chance as well, Danny Lang has cut it back, he should, he should score that as well. You know, this should score those two chances. Um, then obviously they get a free kick outside the area. Um, there's a lot of bodies in the box and obviously we score an own goal. So disappointing for that point of view. We should have been a little bit higher. And then as we drop, we drop in a certain area of the pitch. But we started deeper and dropped into the six yard box for me. So poor from that point of view. Um, <clears throat> but overall, uh, you know, you've got to be pleased with playing against a side that's just got, been come down from League, sorry, League Two. Um, and they're going to, you know, want to try and get promoted back up again um, this this year. So we more than held our own with them. Uh, and like I say, at times we we should have gone further ahead. Yeah, some of the positives from that game: Jake Robinson. That's two goals in two games now. Two penalties <coughs> that he's won. Just how impressed with you are. Yeah, no, Jake. Jake's going to score goals if he gets a chance. He score goals. He, he he hasn't really had a chance in open play apart from about 30 yards out where he's tried to chip the keeper, but. Other than that, he's like you say, he's won the penalties and scored both of them. Um, so from that point of view, there's a lot of positives all over the pitch. You know, his two centre halves were excellent. Um, Janaid at left back was outstanding for me. Um, I think all over the pitch there was there was good performances. Um, so yeah, we've had a, a hell of a pre-season, and I think we, we've shown that we we are a good side. Um, and changed the game a little bit because we we made nine changes you know and, and, the, and the, the flow of the game went mm -hmm. yeah and instant impact as well from Dan Roberts coming on within I think it was two minutes getting himself a goal yeah good good passing move mm -hmm. uh, that's I think that's Dan Roberts third goal in pre-season so it's, it's good because the forwards are scoring and that's important that mm -hmm. every forward scored since they've come in <coughs> so yeah yeah, and that's the last. This is the last home game of pre-season now. Just how well do you think it's gone? We've had some big teams here, and it's gone quite well. Like I said, it's gone ever so well. You know, we've had, like I said, I'm not sure the numbers, but over six thousand fans in six, seven thousand, whatever it was. So you can't ask for more than that. Pre-season people have come out, um, and what they've seen is a team that's given a really good account of themselves, and hopefully it could be an exciting year this year. Um, you know, we, it's a tough league. There's a lot of teams that have strengthened, you know, five or ten players throughout that. Nearly every, every side has done that. So it's a, our league is a tough, tough league to get out of, but I'm sure we'll give it, give it a good go. Um, yeah. Still got a couple of away games though. We've got <coughs> sitting games on Tuesday. What's your assessment? Yeah, I will. I want as many fans as we can to that game because, to be fair to sitting ball, they've done us a right favour when Gillen and had to pull out because of Covid. We, sitting ball, you know, drop a hat, came and played us. So we had 500 at that game. Um, so I'd love to see as many fans as we can come come up there and repay the favour because they deserve to get a decent turnout for what they did for us. So yeah, I'll be hoping that we get a, a, a nice little number travel up to Sittingbourne. Brilliant. Thanks, Steve. Cheers. Bye.